I have this milling attachment for my lathe, although it's not really for milling. South Bend built it as a slot cutter for doing keyways on round stock, and I want to be able to make it a little more versatile. I know that it, it definitely has limited functionality, but I want to make it to do a little more than just slots on round stock. So here I've started machining this bar down. You can see that that's actual speed there as opposed to the previous clip. Although I did play with the feed and the, the speed a little bit and I got it going a little faster than that. Definitely a slow process though since it's a interrupted cut meaning that the tool bit actually leaves the work surface and then strikes the work surface again so you really have to slow it down this is a small lathe so it can't handle uh, too much abuse The four faces of this definitely need to be square, but the ends don't matter a whole lot. So the dimensions on this are one and a half by three, although it's just slightly under one and a half. And the piece of stock that I made is six inches long. The stock that I started with is one and a half by one and an eighth, and then it wound up being just slightly under one and a half by 13 sixteenths and I, I left it uh, six inches long just so I could offset it if uh, need be in the vise a little bit but I, I want to use it on center for the most part. These hold downs came from a clamp kit. I drilled and tapped half inch 13 holes in the bar on center and then I had to drill out the center of the clamp. It had a 7 sixteenths threaded hole in the center of it and then I removed a few thousandths from the bottom of the clamp so that it had a good clamping pressure whenever I tightened the screws up. And the screws are just Allen head cap screws, but I had to turn down the outside diameter of them to, to clearance them against the vise. And then I reduced the height of them so that they are just under the bed of the vise. Here I'm setting up the milling attachment and vise so you can better see how it uh, all goes together. I leave the milling attachment a little bit loose so I can reference it off of the spindle and get it square. The wrench for the carriage lock is the same as the bolts on the milling attachment. So I put a piece of aluminum there 
to square the vise to the bed of the lathe and I can set that at different heights obviously. And then it also has the adjustment built into the milling attachment itself which has a little bit of an interference problem with the vise so that's why I built an extension to raise that handle up a little bit and get it uh, above the vise. So this is video from a, a future video, so I'm not going to talk too much about what I'm doing, but uh, just give you an example of what you can do with it. This is aluminum that I'm working with, obviously not steel, so if, if it were steel, I think that uh, definitely the process would be much slower or possibly you wouldn't even be able to do it at all. It just depends on what it is you're trying to do and what type of material it is. You definitely have to, to go slow, but uh, it does work very well, and I would have a hard time getting holes this perfect off of my drill press. You really have to pay attention to your setup, though. Everything has got to be tightened down, including the gibs. And I have additional bolts in the back of the milling attachment as well. And even with that, if I do something the wrong way or I apply too much pressure, um, it'll it'll definitely flex on you so there is some deflection there and uh, again I don't know that you could you could do this with steel there really is no substitute for having a real milling machine Thanks for watching.